Ever wonder what's happening below the Earth's surface? Where might contaminants be and what affects their movement? Those are important questions at complex sites like Hanford, where waste disposal practices during past defense production activities created plumes of chemical and radioactive subsurface contamination. The mobility of contaminants underground is influenced by complex interactions with sediments, groundwater, and co-contaminants within the waste. The mixture of potential contaminants on the Hanford site and the depth of groundwater, sometimes 300 feet below the surface, make gathering data challenging. Scientists and engineers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have studied contaminated Hanford soils for decades. Testing soil samples at the Subsurface Characterization Laboratory not only identifies contaminants, but helps us determine the fundamental mechanisms that control contaminant behavior and movement in the environment. These data serve as an interpretive playbook for fieldwork at Hanford and other sites with complex contamination. Soil samples can be analyzed from the nanoscale to large-scale lab tests, depending on what we need to learn about a sample. The complex chemical processes controlling contaminant behavior can be understood with measurements on electron microscopes. Moving up in scale, we use batch and column experiments and sequential extractions, adding solutions ranging from groundwater to acids and heat to soil samples. This shows us what fraction of contaminants move with the flow of groundwater, if they are slowed down by interaction with soils, or if they are likely to remain bound in soils. We're also set up to test different flow rates and events to understand how fast contaminants dissolve from the sediment or whether they precipitate to form stable minerals. Coupled with advanced modeling, data from lab tests and microscopy help inform the best remediation approach to remove or bind contaminants. For instance, sometimes flushing contaminants towards a pump and treat facility is desirable. Other times, chemical amendments can be used for remediation. The team uses soil data to propose likely solutions, then tests chemical amendments at intermediate scales in large boxes prior to field work. For example, we analyze soils before and after a chemical called polyphosphate was added to the subsurface at Hanford to bind uranium to soil particles. Analysis showed that polyphosphate substantially decreased movement of the uranium at this site, reducing risk to the nearby Columbia River. Ultimately, these lab and microscopy data feed into fate and transport models developed at PNNL and elsewhere to predict long-term movement, with and without potential remediation activities. PNNL's integrated experimental and modeling approach generates critical, location-specific information about how to approach the issues of subsurface contamination at Hanford and other complex sites to meet cleanup objectives.